this is the best of the festival. I know it's a Wednesday night, but I need you guys to go absolutely crazy. Do you reckon you can do that? Yeah. Yes, I need you guys. Benji, start the clapping. Let's go. Put your hands together. We're going to follow. It's going to flow all the way. Back. That's it. That's it. Raise the roof. Yes, for your first act. Carissa, what's going to happen? Hello guys, lovely to see your beautiful faces, hello. It's very nice because I've, um, <laughs> not going to lie, I have had a few uh, fucked gigs as of <laughs> late. I, uh, I had to gig at a bachelor party, uh, which, yeah, it, it's as fucked as it sounds. Um, <laughs> basically, somebody thought it would be a great idea in between lap dances to bring me on. <laughs> and tell jokes <laughs> and uh, you should have seen the disappointment on these lads faces when I walked on <laughs> in my trackies and a microphone <laughs> when I when I started talking halfway through my set I just heard from the back oh are you still gonna dance <laughs> no <laughs> oh, I don't know about you but like being the only comic in a strip joint, you kind of feel like the dinner roll in a KFC meal. <laughs> like, no one's sad that you're there, but it's not, you're not the reason why they ordered the meal. <laughs> and after the gig, I was, you know, went in for my Uber, <laughs> just questioning my life choices. And uh, one of the lads, he, uh, he came up to me and, you know, he just sees me and he looks at me and he goes, hey, you hang in there. <laughs> and proceeded to vomit all over the pavement. <laughs> but I guess our fairy godmothers come in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, I, uh, those who don't know, I am, I'm Greek. Give us a shout if you're Greek. What the fuck did you do to the Greeks? <laughs> we got rid of them. No, nah, I don't blame you. I, uh, nah, they're all right. I, uh, <laughs> I'm Greek, I come from a, a Greek family, because uh, <laughs> that's how that works. Um, <laughs> No, I, uh, I come from a Greek family, but I recently learned that I am not the favourite of the family. Uh, my cousin Steffi, she's the favourite. Everyone loves Steffi. She's the golden child. And the way that I learnt this was through my grandmother, because the compliments that she gives Steffi, they're very different to the compliments she gives me. Uh, I'll be chatting to Steffi. My grandma, she'll go up and she'll go, oh, Steffi. You are the most kind, beautiful person I have ever met. <laughs> you have blossomed into the most beautiful flower. I love you with all my heart. <laughs> she turns to me. And you, Miss Lady here. <laughs> I like your pants. <laughs> and she fucks off, leaving me to unpack that. I'm like, where's my haiku? I was very sad. I, um, I'm one of the younger ones in my family, so a lot of my cousins, they've started having kids, which is actually quite sweet. Um, I love the kids. Um, <laughs> but I've, it, like, I find that, like, in-laws, they love to play a game of, like, who does the baby look like at every family gathering. You know, you'll always hear this. You, I don't know if you guys get this, but you'll always hear, like, oh, you know, oh, the baby. You get the mum's side going, oh, the baby looks exactly like her mum. And you get the father's side going, no, the baby looks exactly like her father, looks exactly like her dad. And they'll always ask me, they'll go, oh, Carissa, who do you think the baby looks like? Uh, but I'm not that invested, so I just chuck in a random. Uh, <laughs> I'll say Brett from finance and then walk off. <laughs> just get that rumour mill churning. But it's funny because, like, even I find, like, at that age, like, gender, even with babies, like, it's such a specific thing. Like, the way you compliment, you know, a little boy is different to the way you compliment, like, a little girl. Like, because if, if a little, like, uh, if a little boy smiles at you, all the relatives are like, oh, he is such a little flirt, isn't he? <laughs> but you don't really say that about, like, baby girls, ever. Like, no one's ever like, oh, little Delilah, she's an absolute cock tease, that one. <laughs> Little Miss Blue Balls. <laughs> Fight off the dick with that one. <laughs> no, I'm not allowed anymore. <laughs> uh, it's funny because, like, hanging out with these kids, it's got me thinking about my own childhood. And, you know, it's weird. Like, I find that, like, 
if you question anything about how you were raised, your parents get very defensive immediately. Uh, like I said to Dad the other day, I was like, oh, Dad, have I, always, have, <laughs> have I always had this scar on me? And he just shot back, hey, we did the best we could. <laughs> but, you know, you got away. I was like, what does that mean? Oh, God. I, um, I had something really awkward happen to me um, recently. I had an ex reach out. Uh, which was a bit of a shock, uh, an ex-boyfriend of mine, because uh, it did not end well. Uh, and he sent one of those, like, really embarrassing, demoralising, you up messages. He texted me, you up. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, I'm with your sister. And then he sent a follow-up message that said, ooh, sorry, that wasn't meant for you. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> it's just an honour to be nominated. I, um... <laughs> it's fun. No, but I'm, I'm like 24. I'm 24 now. Oh, my God, freeze your eggs. And, um... <laughs> no, I've got time. Um, but I'm, um... Like, none of my friends really are getting married yet. It's a lot of, you know, it's just like the ones from the burbs. Um, like, ooh, another wedding invitation from Mudgy. What a surprise. <laughs> I guess playing with sticks got old. Uh, but you always like... Um, I love someone like clapped over there like, yes, that's true, sticks were a thing. Um, um, but no, I, I was at a wedding recently with my family and it was interesting because we hadn't yet met the groom. We only knew the bride and we only knew two things about the groom, uh, that he is an accountant and he likes taxidermy. <laughs> Uh, so I couldn't wait to meet him and uh, when I met him he, he was like a real lad like you know just like such a lad like loves a good Joe Rogan podcast um, <laughs> thinks everything's a conspiracy like he was just walking around like you know the wedding just going oh you know the moon landing I don't know <laughs> like, what does that mean Brent anyway but the, the bride Sarah she kept asking us she was like oh what do you guys think of Brent and my aunt, who cannot lie, just goes, well, it's too late to ask that. <laughs> you should have asked us months ago. <laughs> she asked me what I thought of him. I just turned into my grandma. I was like, oh, I like his pants. <laughs> anyway, guys, I've got a show uh, on the 1st and 2nd of May. If you want to come down, it's here at the Factory Theatre. Otherwise, have a good night. Thank you. Mwah! Carissa <laughs> 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 <laughs>